Kim Chatra Bandum Kalino Pashristam Rashtrani Vatail Avaro Pitani Itasta Do Vashana Panavasha Snana Yava Yonmukha Jiva Loka Shima Bhagavatam Chapter 16 Commentary 116.24 Are you lamenting about degraded Kshatriyas influenced by Kali or countries ruled neglig negligently by them? Are you lamenting because people are engaged in eating, drinking, dressing, basing and sexual relationships without regard for restrictions? Commentary Upashvishtam means spread in Avaropitani means abandoned. Next verse. Yadvamba e budi bada vatara krita vatarasya hare daritri antar hitashyas manati vishrishta karmani nirvana vilambitani. O mother, O earth, are you lamenting on remembering the activities? which make a mockery of liberation by their sweetness, of the Lord who appeared to relieve your heavy burden and then disappeared, leaving you alone? <laughs> o Earth, are you lamenting because the women are not protected by the husbands, children are not protected by parents, and moreover suffer at the hands of merciless people? Are you lamenting about learned words being spoken in Brahmana families with sinful conduct? Are you lamenting about the best of Brahmanas serving kings who have no respect for Brahmanas. Dharma, moving about on one leg, seeing a cow with no effulgence, with tears in her eyes, as if she had lost her calf, inquired from her. The moment Kali Yuga had started, Dharma, the earth, and Kali appeared in this situation. Though this was not seen by the people, Parikshit, who meditated with a desire to see this, saw it with his mystic eyes. Dharma, in the form of a bull, asked questions to the cow who had lost her effulgence, Vichayam. Dharma said, Auspicious cow, are you well? You appear pale and your face is slightly withered. I think that you are in great anxiety. Oh, mother, are you lamenting for a friend in a distant land? Atmana means of the body. An mayam means health. The bull asked the cause since he has, since she has internal affliction. Do you lament because I'm standing on only one leg? Or are you lamenting for yourself being enjoyed by sinners? Or are you lamenting because the devatas have been deprived of their share of the sacrifice? Or are you lamenting for the citizens without rain? Ma means mom. Are you lamenting because you are being enjoyed by sinful person? It is in the masculine gender in referring to Atma. O oh, Earth, now he changed to Earth, so it's very interesting. This is like if we, we could read this out in the meeting of the, of the prayer meeting in the, in, the, in the Kiva. Yeah, in the Kumbha Mela, it's a very good. O oh, Earth, are you lamenting <laughs> because the women are not protected by the husbands? children are not protected by parents and moreover suffer at the hands of merciless people? 
Are you lamenting about learned words being spoken in Brahmana families with sinful conduct? Are you lamenting about the best of Brahmanas serving kings who have no respect for Brahmins? Commentary. Are women... not protected by their husbands the children are not protected by the parents moreover they're suffering because of merciless persons are you lamenting about a parent learned words divin vacham being spoken in brahmanas families of bad conduct are you lamenting about those of noble families who are serving kings who have no devotion to brahmanas Upashrishta means spread. Uh, remembering the activities of the Lord who appeared to relieve your burden, the activities made liberation, a laughing stock, Vilambitani, because of their sweetness. The syllable da and la can be exchanged, and thus the words become Vidambitani, mocking. O oh earth, please tell me the cause for your anxiety by which you have become extremely sin. O oh mother, has time which is strongest of the strong stolen your good fortune worshipped by the devatas? Vikarshitasi means made extremely thin. The earth responded to Dharma. So the cow is representing here earth. And the cow is, the cow is simply uh, representing a, already in this time a very thin and lean uh, person. The, so it means suffering coming to the earth. The earth said, you know all the dharma about which you are asking me. I am lamenting the population which is now influenced by the sinful glance of Kali and which is devoid of the Lord, the abode of Lakshmi, the abode of qualities, by whose power you existed with four legs, which gave benefit to the people, and in whom reside the following eternal great qualities, which do not disappear at any time. Truthfulness, purity, compassion, control of anger, generosity, self-satisfaction, straightforwardness, control of mind, control of external senses, following his caste role during past times, neutrality to all, tolerance, indifference to material enjoyment, consideration of scripture, omniscience, distaste for material enjoyment, control of others, determination in battle, wait for this disturbance to pass. Distaste for material enjoyment, control of others, determination in battle, influence, skill, defining social duties, independence, expertise in arts, beauty, lack of confusion, tenderness, boldness, modesty, being good-natured, sharpness of mind, sharpness of the knowledge senses and action senses, the abode of enjoyment, imperturbability, imperturbability, steadiness, fame, face, respectability, lack of pride, and as well, other qualities desirable for those who want greatness. Anybody has seen a dolphin? Yes. Oh, so much noise. You know all about Dharma. 
since you are Dharma personified. No, I know I want to hear from your mouth. Therefore she speaks. You know the Dharma because of which you exist with four legs. Present tense is used since the condition is near the present. The sentence continues till verse 31. Satyam means speaking about things as they are. Saucham means purity. Daya means sympathizing with other sufferings, protecting those who have surrendered and being friendly to devotees. Shanti means having control of the mind even when angry. Tyaga means generosity. Santosha means satisfied in the self. Arjava means honesty, not being crooked. Sama means control of the mind, by which one has firm vows. Dhamma means control of the external senses. Tapas means engaging according to one's nature, such as Kshatriya during pastimes. Samyam means devoid of thinking one is an enemy and another is a friend. Titikshva is tolerance when others offend you. Upadati is indifferent to attaining material enjoyment. Shrutam means making judgment as per scripture. Jnana means omniscience and gratitude. Virakti means absence of taste for material enjoyment. Aishwaryam is control of others. Sauryam is determination in battle. Tejas is influence. Balam is skill. Smriti means searching out what should be done as duty. Svatantriyam is non-dependence on others. Kaushalyam is skill in arts and play. Kanti is beauty. Dairyam is not being agitated. Mardavan is being very young and being tender with prema. Pragalpyam is extreme boldness. Prashraya is mildness. Shila means good nature. Sahas is sharpness of mind. Tejas is sharpness of knowledge senses. Ojas is the sharpness of action senses. Baga is being the shelter of enjoyment. Gambiriam means being imperturbable. Stadiam is not being fickle. Ashtikyam is face. Kirti is fame. Mana is being worthy of worship. Anahankriti is absence of pride. Other qualities include being true to one's word. Respecting Brahmanas and being affectionate to the devotees. These great qualities are eternal, existing over all times in the Lord. The Lord has said, all superior qualities which are eternal, such as equality to all beings and detachment to my devotees, reside in me, who am beyond the material gunas, not dependent on material qualities, and the friend of my devotees, giving love to them. Thus, though the Lord is beyond the gunas, he possesses qualities, great qualities, which are spiritual, beyond matter, arising from his Swarupa. Even during universal destruction, these qualities do not disappear. Navi Janti. If they continually reside in Krishna, even do the, during the final destruction, then these qualities just listed must all be eternal. If they are Eternal, the objects in which they exist must also be eternal. Thus, the pastimes, the participants of the pastimes, the places of the past of the pastimes, and all ingredients are eternal. Wow! Mm -hmm. oh. Now, first of all, I don't sing in any language. In the Western world, you have so many qualities. So many qualities and definitions of qualities. It is very impressive. It is very amazing how the Vedic scholars have been trained 
to get so qualified. This is really their, their goal of life, to be qualified servants. So now here the last sentence is so interesting. He says all these qualities exist within Krishna. Krishna is the supreme. And when they exist in Krishna, they must also exist in the objects which he has created. I would call that these are the living beings. This is us. Thus the pastimes, the participants in the pastimes, the places of the pastimes and all ingredients are eternal. Well, this is, this is a very, very good defeat of <coughs> impersonalism. Because what is the use of qualities if there's no relationship where they can manifest? If there's no place, they can manifest. It's not good, it's not useful. We have to have a place where our relationships can manifest to fullest satisfaction. But when, where and how, when will they manifest? That is the big, big question. So, here, this conversation between Dharma and Mother Earth is very, very interesting. To tell you the truth, it is very shocking, it is very revealing, it is very exposing, it is like we say in Spanish, a calzón quita. Mm -hmm. I, that's, or in English we say, naked truth. Kali Yuga is so embarrassing, let's just say, the women are not protected. And even the children have no protection. Can you imagine that? The children have no more protection by their parents. You know, in Spain, they published a figure that more than 40% of children get molested sexually in their own home by father, grandfather, uncle, somebody. 40%! That means that, that the, the illicit sex inside the family is going on with the children in almost every second home. So can you imagine what this is? This is what the Bhagavatam is talking about. No protection. It's no protection. The, the children's are, children are victims to the craziness of this material world. So this is because all these good qualities have left, but these good, good qualities do inherently exist. We have two lists here. First, the earth says what is a good quality. And then in the commentary, they give us all the explanation of all these words. What do they really mean? Because there's more to it. So, Dharma is giving us this understanding. What does it mean to have good qualities? And where are the good qualities? In, in whom are they found? They are found in God. And in the godly people who are dedicated to God. In them you can also find this. Now the sun is coming out. You watch. Now the dolphins will also come out. Om Tat Vishnu Paramam Param Sada Pashyanti Surayo Diviva Shakshwa Tatam Jai Jai Nitai So, so such a wonderful thing. God has all the good qualities in Him and in order to approach God we have to acquire the good qualities. That's as simple as it is. That is really what we have to understand. For get, like we say, cleanliness is close to godliness. So in the same way you can also say, Satyam is the next to God. Saucham, purity, is next to God. Daya means sympathizing with other sufferings. That is 
generosity, that's empathy, that's also next to God. In God, you will find such things. In God, He will naturally promote all these good things for us. But without God, without a personal understanding of God, it will be very difficult. I think even in the impersonal concept of life, it is rather difficult to develop real qualities because there's no relationship you're aspiring for. Everything is just temporary. And because it is temporary, then it is not It is not the essence, because the essence is found in the truth, in the permanent truth. <laughs> of course, the temporary manifestation is also a great indication of the eternal existence. So therefore, even the temporary existence has a lot to do of teaching us. Just like I was saying to one person today, the sadness you have experienced in your life is that sadness which you needed to go through to come to a higher understanding of seeing another dimension. Because when you have never suffered and everything has been just fantastic, then most likely you're not very eager to take things profoundly serious. You're just becoming very shallow. Okay, we enjoy life. Huh? Like, if you see most of the people today, we should take this out. This is really a good quotation we should take for the, for the Kumbha Mela reading, for the prayer meeting. So we can separate that, you can do that. I put this here. So, because Mother Earth is in such bad condition, Dharma is in such a bad condition, at the same time, we have to define. We have to define. Do we want something higher? Do we want something better? Then we have to take up prayer. We have to take up service. We have to take up so many things which are necessary, very necessary. And one thing we should take up is the Sankirtan movement. The Sankirtan movement is the most important thing. If we want to get to a higher consciousness, then we have to take up the Sankirtan movement because that is the gift of Gornitai. They have given this to us that we can actually be in the association of the greatest, most wonderful uh, association, which is the association with uh, devotees and devotional service. Devotees and devotional service are the sum and substance of all this, what we are talking here about. So I, I, request you earnestly to help relieve Mother Earth by chanting Hare Krishna. This is the most important and most effective relief of the pain of Mother Earth. If we clean, we also chant. Like our classes means chanting. Our books means chanting. Our lectures means chanting. Everything we do is in the field of chanting. So the chanting is really so important for our spiritual life. So I request you all to be part of the Harinam Sankirtan movement and make sure wherever you go, the chanting goes on. Vishwarupa is going to to Ecuador and making another center of consciousness. So this is for increasing the chanting of writing, 
lecturing, chanting, kirtan, all these things. All these things are included. So, otherwise, what's the use of going through so much headache to start a new center, to do something new? Everything is about the glories of chanting. So, this chanting is Harinama, 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 Yivaktivalum, Kalau, Nasteva, 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 Gati, Anyata. But very clearly, by Mahaprabhu's own words, this is not referring to only chanting the Krishna name. This means any name invoking transcendence, divinity. Any invocation to the divine name that will bring the blessings from the higher. So we want to get the Krishna mercy by chanting Krishna's name because we are in the Goda land, in Goda Mahaprabhu's land. That's a special, special mercy. And he is the one who, who inaugurated the Sankitan movement, while in other parts of the world it also existed. The understanding, like Pagamento, in, in South America, the natives, they are talking about Pagamentos, that you make payments in order to counteract certain negative situations. So, once in our conversation, we came to the conclusion that the main Pagamento, the most essential of all Pagamentos, is chanting the names. Therefore, there's chanting, there's dancing, all this is going on because this is this is the very essence of clearing out the relationship between you and and the, the nature. So Mother Earth is in the Bhagavatam very much involved. And nobody should say, oh Mother Earth is a secondary consideration. No. Mother Earth is very important. So when we are talking in the United Nations of the Spirit about Mother Earth, we are talking about our mother. We are talking about the same person who in the Bhagavatam is giving us all this information. So I request Puru Deva to give some further light on this and then uh, we can take a dip here because we have to leave early today to get all of code room a little bit. Uh, we shouldn't leave too late. That's why we made the class a little earlier today. <laughs>